America's highway system is rapidly reaching its capacity. One trip through a major city will convince anyone that the highway system that has been built over the last 40 years will struggle to carry American travelers over the next 20. The city of Atlanta, Georgia is the perfect case in point. In the 10 years between 1983 and 1993, Atlanta's metropolitan population grew by nearly 1 million people, from 2.4 million residents to 3.3 million an increase of 36%. Meanwhile, during the same period, traffic in the metropolitan area grew by 29%, making Atlanta one of America's 10 most congested cities. It was the classic good news, bad news scenario. Growth is good. It is usually a sign of economic prosperity. However, if the area's infrastructure can't handle the growth, the prosperity can be literally choked off. Simply building more roads cannot continue to be the only solution to the critical problem of traffic congestion. The U.S. already has the largest and most complete roadway system in the world. As a society, Americans must work together to use this country's existing transportation resources more effectively and efficiently. The city of Atlanta and the state of Georgia have recognized the potential of developing intelligent transportation systems as a way to increase the efficiency of existing highway, transit, and rail systems. Atlanta is a city on the cutting edge of applying telecommunications, information, and computer technologies to the problems of everyday life, including roadway gridlock. The brains of Atlanta's traveler information infrastructure are located in its $11 million transportation management center. The center is part of the Georgia Department of Transportation's $140 million Advanced Transportation Management System. The ATMS collects real-time traffic information from the city's roadways and distributes the information instantly to places where emergency management staff, law enforcement, and Atlanta travelers can make use of it. The Atlanta Traveler Information Showcase, a four-month demonstration project that took place during the summer of 1996, was developed to introduce the people of Atlanta and the millions of U.S. and international visitors who were part of the 1996 Summer Olympic Games to the benefits of transportation information. Atlantans and their visitors were given a glimpse of the near future when the Traveler Showcase introduced five different Traveler tools that combined information technology and usability. The tools enabled travelers to acquire real-time, up-to-the-minute traffic and incident information as well as other information of interest to travelers. Due to the compressed time frame available for selecting the appropriate ITS technologies and customizing them for use in and around the city of Atlanta, field testing and actual use happened concurrently. The testing took more of an iterative process of design, build, test, and it was working very closely with the vendors. It was not that they delivered something and said, now go and test it and come back three months later. The time frames were too short to accomplish that. The vendors did a superb job with the amount of software that did have to be developed and integrated into their existing products in order to accomplish this task. The information outputted from the technologies allowed travelers to make informed decisions about the best routes or modes of transportation to use to get from one place to another. Briefly, here is a glimpse at the five travel technologies that were showcased in Atlanta. Personal communications devices, which are handheld computers that can send and receive data across wireless links. On the spot, the devices provide a traveler information related to the sites of accidents and congestion and provide route guidance with turn-by-turn -turn directions. The computer can lead a traveler to a specific destination or point of interest. The computer also provides the locations of service providers, such as hospitals, restaurants or gas stations. The technology used in the Atlanta showcase was the Hewlett Packard HP 200LX and the Motorola Envoy. The personal convenience and up-to-date information provided by these devices allowed travelers to move about the region more quickly and more safely. As the traveler moved about Atlanta, constant communications with the Atlanta Advanced Transportation Management System was possible using wireless data communications 
provided by Artis and SkyTel two-way paging systems. This is the Motorola Envoy, and it uses the Artis network for its wireless communications. Once your wireless modem is on and it's established a connection, you can go ahead and do a traffic update. Here we'll do a traffic update to see the process that it goes through. Here we're sending our requests through Artis to the Transportation Management Center in Atlanta, Georgia, where it's then received by the Artis PC. That in turn sends your request to the fixed end server, which will take the real-time traffic information, send it back through the Artis network to the Motorola Envoy. And then once your Motorola Envoy receives that information, it will say that your updated speed information has arrived, as it has just here, and you can see what the local traffic is like. Here, right along the connector, we have traffic congestion from 30 to 50 miles per hour. When a request goes out from the Palm Top computer out to the network saying, give me traffic information right now, it is sent up to the two-way messaging system via the pager over the wireless network and then down to the traffic server. The traffic server pulls in the information and then it sends back the information over the wireless network back to the pager and then is simply uploaded into the Palm Top. But Both speed and accident data were available to the traveler on the spot. The idea is that an informed traveler makes a smart and safe traveler. In-vehicle navigation and information systems were provided by Siemens. The units were installed in approximately 35 vehicles supplied by General Motors and BMW to provide turn-by-turn -turn directions and up-to-the-minute freeway speeds and accident locations to both visitors and residents of Atlanta. Drivers are able to program their final destination into the device. The unit calculates a route using trip specifications supplied by the user, such as the shortest distance, maximum use of freeways, or minimum use of freeways. The driver is then informed of every turn he or she needs to take to reach the destination. The Siemens system keeps track of the vehicle using a satellite geographic positioning system, or GPS. A unique feature of the Siemens system developed specifically for the Atlanta Showcase is the ability to receive real-time incident and speed data. Using icons on the screen, the in-vehicle device allowed drivers to avoid problem traffic areas. The real-time data were transmitted to the driver using subcarrier FM radio broadcasts installed by DCI. In addition to giving individuals the opportunity to utilize the in-car navigation devices, the showcase also gave businesses the opportunity to test the technology. For many businesses, efficient transportation can be the difference between profit and loss. We put the devices in a, um, a beverage distributing company, it's actually called Beverage Control Company, and they've used it and it's helped them tremendously in training new drivers. They don't have to worry about new drivers getting lost on their routes. Uh, they're just elated with the product and, and want more of them and want to introduce this more into the beverage industry. The showcase also provided an internet web page accessible through the World Wide Web. The website allows users to obtain pre-trip travel information such as route plans, traffic speed flow, and up-to-the-minute incident reports. This data is current uh, within uh, the last 10 minutes and you can see the green areas, the green dots, indicate automated sensors that we have in Atlanta to report traffic speeds. A green dot on the map indicates traffic at that point is running above 50 mile per hour. A yellow dot indicates speeds from 30 to 50, and a red dot indicates speeds less than 30 mile per hour. The triangles indicate uh, incidents. The Internet's reach was demonstrated by the thousands of website accesses recorded each day. In addition to route planning, the site features a wealth of travel-related information, such as tips on using the public transit system. During the Olympic Games, the site also provided a schedule of Olympic-related events and the venue where each event was to take place. The showcase webpage, developed by Maxwell Labs, will continue to be a great daily resource for users who want to avoid congestion when leaving home or the office.
Good morning. You're watching Georgia Traveler Information Television. There is a report of an accident that's I-85 southbound in between uh, Jimmy Carter. The showcase provided a cable TV transportation channel that reached over 500,000 homes in the Atlanta area. Viewers could tune in during the morning and evening rush hours to find major roadway speed maps and locations of accidents and areas where construction was slowing traffic. In cooperation with the Georgia Department of Transportation, live color video of critical points within the Atlanta roadway system were shown to provide viewers with a visual glance at the conditions on the roads. Seeing is believing. The channel is also equipped to announce important traveler information in a bulletin board format. During the Olympic Games, visitors were encouraged to use the Olympic transportation system managed by MARTA. A 24-hour showcase hotline, operated during a 17-week operation period, received enthusiastic feedback and high praise from viewers of the cable channel. The positive feedback please showcase partner ETAC, okay, which developed the automated cable TV programming system. It was decided at the beginning that this would be a legacy. Uh, we've had a lot of cable companies commit uh, staff and uh, equipment to collecting this feed, so they, they want to do this on an indefinite basis. Welcome to Public Transit. Here you'll find information to make getting around in Atlanta. To help Atlanta visitors, an interactive television system was installed at the Crown Plaza Ravinia. Using a handheld remote control, hotel guests were able to access the real-time traffic conditions in Atlanta. Here are the current incidents in the Atlanta area. To know more about an incident, select the quadrant number and press enter. Guests were also able to access information to help locate restaurants or shopping in the area. Hotel guests using the interactive TV system had the option of printing maps with directions and picking up the information from the concierge on their way out of the hotel. The maps provided options for both driving or taking transit to reach a desired destination. Your map is being printed and will be available for pickup from the Bell Captain stand in the hotel lobby in a few minutes. The showcase demonstration of advanced traveler information technologies was sponsored by the Federal Highway Administration in cooperation with the Federal Transit Administration, the Georgia Department of Transportation, the Metropolitan Atlanta Rapid Transit Authority, and Cobb Community Transit. These public sector agencies worked closely with a private sector team comprised of Project Manager Battelle, supported by BRW, JHK and Associates, System Resources Corporation, TRW, and Walkoff and Associates. The showcase team also included these private sector firms who provided technologies or services that contributed to the success of the project. What we learned in Atlanta was is that uh, one, you need very good cooperation and that interagency cooperation amongst the local, state, and federal government and private industry to make these types of projects work. You need good cooperation amongst these agencies, you need the technology, and you need a central point for which you can collect and disseminate the data. The showcase was part of the Federal Highway Administration's Intelligent Transportation Systems Initiative, often referred to as ITS. ITS is the application of telecommunications, information, and computer technologies to meet the needs and problems of the U.S. highway, rail, and transit infrastructures. Using sensors, computerized traffic control systems, and electronic navigation, these technologies, many of which were developed for aviation, the space program, and the defense program, are now being deployed to make the movement of people and goods easier, safer, and less polluting. So what did it take to make the Traveler Information Showcase a success in Atlanta? All of the systems have gotten a very, very positive response from the public. We have gotten suggestions, though, of ways we can improve the system. We actually tried to react to those if there was time to do that. Some very good suggestions that, we, that were just oversights in our development. So the public provided a, a valuable response to the systems. and. Uh, uh, it was useful. Travel information showcases tweet.
For this and any traveler information system, it all begins with good data. The data must provide all vital roadway conditions, such as the speed of traffic flow, the locations of incidents or accidents, and areas of construction. The showcase was able to obtain this vital information from a variety of sources. First, showcase computers were connected directly to the computers of the Georgia Department of Transportation's Advanced Traffic Management System. When problem areas were detected, the data was transferred to the showcase computers in fractions of a second. My role as operations manager was to monitor all the devices, uh, make sure they were all operating properly, make sure one matched the other, uh, and if there was something the matter, call the appropriate person to remedy the situation. To supplement the GDOT surveillance, the showcase project installed more than 50 radar sites to measure speed. Slow scan television cameras were used at 22 of the radar sites, allowing live, detailed viewing of the highway. Radar devices, data from those is transmitted to a remote processing unit inside the cabinet, and then from there, that information is relayed to the traffic management center by way of conventional telephone lines. The slow scan video, while not as, as attractive as full motion video, does give the operators uh, an idea or some picture of what the traffic conditions are, whether the traffic is bunched up together indicating congestion or spread out as it is now indicating free flow. A commercial traffic surveillance company, Metro Networks, was part of the project team. Metro Networks collected data in Atlanta as well as the major freeway feeders extending to the state lines. Data were collected from a variety of sources, including helicopters, fixed-wing aircraft, and mobile spotters driving the roadways. The showcase project was able to provide us good detection through the use of the metro traffic uh, helicopters and mobile spotters who were out in the field that were bringing back this information to us. So we could then send out a highway emergency response operator. We could send up our aerial surveillance helicopter if we needed to. Uh, and it allowed us to respond whereby we wouldn't have had that information had we not had a travel information showcase. Using these methods and more, the showcase staff was able to monitor the status of traffic flow on area roadways. Data transferred to showcase computers was stored in databases for immediate access by the technology tools used by travelers. The fixed end server processed the incoming data and enabled travelers to access the information using the various showcase devices. The data was transmitted to the devices in a variety of ways ranging from copper wires to wireless radio systems and TV satellite systems. Data collection and distribution are the most important elements of traffic management. Good data is the foundation upon which smart travel decisions are made. Without it, traffic management is little more than a guessing game. Though the demonstration project ended on September 30, 1996, the project is working to leave a lasting legacy Efforts are being made to leave as many of the operating showcase systems as possible for Atlanta residents and visitors. The citizens of Atlanta, its visitors, and people throughout the United States have also taken away a better understanding of the advantages of ITS as a result of the showcase program. So the goal of the showcase, one of the big goals, was to turn that focus around out on the general public and get this information out into the hands of travelers and show the people that if you have this kind of information available to you at your fingertips, you can use it to make better decisions, more informed decisions, which will then help you reduce your travel times, cut down on congestion. There's never been a showcase like this. There's never been this amount of technology in the ITS arena pulled together in one spot, operating at the same time. And that's one of the biggest accomplish accomplishments, one of the things I'm most proud of. The successful execution of the showcase will become a template for other regions, states, and localities that endeavor to create a multi-jurisdictional public-private partnership. And the lessons learned from the execution of the Atlanta model will help other jurisdictions looking to create similar complex transportation systems. For more information on the Atlanta Traveler Information Showcase, contact Battelle at the address and phone number listed on the screen.